All right, guys. <clears throat> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful. It is a Monday morning in the end times. That would be Monday morning, January 29th, 2024. So as I continue to sink deeper and deeper into the darkest depression that I have been in, and good Lord, probably four and a half years. <clears throat> uh, just thinking of, of, of one reason that we can all be depressed or anybody with uh, a fucking brain can be depressed and this is certainly not the major reason that I am uh, going to hell in a handbasket but, but it is one of them and that is of course the, uh, the, the very presence on this planet of the single most, just the, the single most offensive human being ever born. Uh, at least that's alive today and that would be of course Donald Trump. Donald Trump, who uh, apparently is, is, is going to continue tormenting us uh, for at least until November when he is elected and I am predicting by a landslide to uh, move back into the White House for another four years. And just that thought alone is enough to send anybody uh, w w with the, you know, just the most elemental sense of proportion and balance and fairness and concern for your fellow human. And certainly, if you have any compassion for any of our fellow earthlings and this planet, just the knowledge that Donald Trump is headed back uh, into the White House, uh, that alone should be enough to uh, send you spiraling down into a, a just a dark diarrhea brown depression. Uh, it, it is just one small element in my own life, but it's enough to where, uh, <clears throat> you know, you might remember four years ago uh, that, that in the same position that I had this uh, short-lived sub-channel called Dump the Trump Dehive, and uh, I am digging up the the rotten corpse of Dump the Trump Dehive. We're going to make this our Monday morning Humpty Dumpty Tribe rant where uh, so any of you uh, who can find some particularly good <clears throat> uh, essays or videos to send me from people suffering from uh, Trump derangement sin syndrome, please send them to uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. So what I'm going to try not to do is news articles. I don't want mainstream media news articles. I'm looking more for opinion pieces where people are allowed full reign to, uh, to vent uh, about one of the major reasons to be depressed. Uh, so we're going to, uh, I've picked out four here, and we're going to start over at medium.com today. Here's this fellow, never heard from him, Jerry Bowles an open letter to my Facebook friends who are pissed off by my anti-Trump rants. Let's hear a little bit from Jerry. 
talking to his friends who do not appreciate his anti-Trump rants. Uh, anyway, why don't we'll just dive in here? <clears throat> Donald Trump is an ignorant bully a tax-cheating, congenital liar, and a known mafia associate who is, worthy, who is worth maybe half of what he claims he is. He has never done anything for anybody beyond his own family <clears throat> and his immediate staff of loyal goons. Except for the business he inherited from his father, he has never managed anything. He says, thing, he says things that are openly racist, anti-LGBT, and talks about women, sometimes even women related to him, as if they are grades of meat. He deliberately appeals to the most ignorant and prejudiced elements of American society. <clears throat> he has exploited the deepest and darkest corners of the American soul, that ugly spot where people dream of a return to white Christian dominance. He is promising to close a gate that closed a long time ago. He is a would-be dictator <clears throat> whose rants eerily echo those of Mussolini <coughs> and Hitler and Perone and Pol Pot. Donald Trump is the most self-involved, clinically narcissistic, borderline sociopath ever to be nominated by a major party in the U.S. He has a huge ego, a little dick, a short temper, and the keys to the nuclear code, or he'll get them back. <clears throat> I lived two blocks from Trump Tower built with Gambino family concrete and illegal workers with a mob guarantee of no labor strikes for 45 years. Trump has been a smelly fart on my neighborhood for a very long time. <clears throat> I have good friends who have been personally lied to and screwed over by him. Among the people in his own community, he is considered a total liar and self-aggrandizing buffoon. If you like men who refer to people as little Marco and lying Ted and women as tens and sixes and who cheated on all his wives and failed to pay millions of dollars in taxes and supplier bills and admits that he is sexually attracted to his own daughter and publicly boasts about the size of his penis, which I'm told by people who know is not much to brag about, I think you have found your candidate. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Bowles. And then Richard Lowenthal picking up uh, Jerry's thoughts in America's mental health is collapsing at an astonishing rate. It is far worse than we imagine. Hell, we can't even tell what is real anymore. Yes, um, recently I've been writing about the massive socio-political shitstorm that is brewing and already well underway in the U.S. this election year. 2024 promises to be one of the most bizarre, difficult, and frightening years ever, but there 
is a whole other level to this developing shitstorm, and that is the level of inner psychological and emotional turmoil if we deeply and honestly examine what's going on in people's inner lives, their mental, emotional, spiritual, and moral health, the picture gets even worse, much worse. Unbelievably, what is happening to people on the inside is even more horrifying and dangerous than our outward collapse. The mental health of of millions upon millions of people is disintegrating fast and this inner disintegration is fueling and intensifying all the very types of outer disintegration that are plaguing us. The litany of social horrors goes on and on but it is critical to see that they all emerge directly from our increasingly twisted and crazy inner realities. As I've written, but now my battery uh, light is, cold, is flashing, so let me just charge on until it collapses. As I've written before, we have seriously underestimated the grave mental and emotional damage that Donald Trump instigates and today as he is campaigning to be our president yet again what the fuck we are still wildly underestimating the horrendous effect he has had and still has on our nation and our people it's not just Trump, of course, rather it is Trump plus the craven Trump cult that is today's GOP plus our Trump-worshipping far-right media plus the huge fascism-friendly MAGA movement he leads and constantly reinvigorates. <clears throat> Pundits argue whether Donald Trump is the cause of our socio-political shitstorm or just an unfortunate effect of our nation's decline, but this argument is just an absurd distraction because it is not an either-or situation <clears throat> and it is clear to me that Donald Trump is both and has always been both. It is clear that Trump's ascent emerged straight out of the racist right-wing counter-reaction to Obama's presidency, but it is equally clear that Trump's crude, deceptive, racist, and cruel style of politics has inspired some truly terrible changes <clears throat> within many Americans. His brash, aggressive cruelty and paranoia have effectively green-lighted many Americans' toxic inner assholes and constantly encourage latent, sociopathic, paranoid, and violent tendencies to awaken and quickly grow and spread. Under Trump's pathological guidance, we are turning into a nation of lying imbeciles, sociopaths, and overt racists. To say this is not a pretty picture is to vastly underestimate what is happening all across the U.S. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, the, the just jumping <clears throat> ahead, uh, the reason MAGA is so cult-like 
is that his followers in effect lose their reasoning power and succumb to intense distrust, rage, and paranoia all with Trump's total blessing and leering approval. That's the prime way he cements his power and his power over them. It is hard to convey just how precarious and catastrophic the situation is now with Americans' mental and moral health. Um, there we go. He just goes on uh, and on. Uh, as our long American nightmare continues and intensifies. <clears throat> anyway, but uh, I think we've heard it before. And of course, speaking of hearing before, uh, this is my number one favorite. Uh, Donald Trump rant of all times. This is sociologist Sheldon Solomon explaining Donald Trump uh, better than anybody else. This was from four years ago. I hope we have time to hear this slice. Take it away, Sheldon Solomon. And then they liked him a, a lot more. All right, well, fast forward to 2016, uh, and, uh, you know, Donald Trump uh, comes down the elevator and saying that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you from uh, the hordes of negrotinous brown people steaming across the southern border uh, uh, where there's terrorists parachuting into Buffalo to steal our chicken wings and rape our daughters and uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm the only one uh, that can keep you safe. Uh, and it, it, it frankly didn't matter to half of the people in America. Uh, they were appalled. Uh, you know, they're like, Trump uh, is a vulgar, sadistic, vindictive, pathologically narcissistic, sociopathic, racist, xenophobic, homophobic, misogynistic, functionally illiterate, pussy-grabbing, cheese-doodle impersonator. And... and like this fucking guy is, you know, just grotesquely ignorant, shockingly incoherent, uh, and congenitally uh, in, uh, incapable of not lying. Uh, well, uh, but to another half of America, uh, they not only didn't mind that, uh, they were enthralled by the, this kind of blustery, uh, pseudo successful business person claiming that he's going to keep us safe by making America great. Well, be that as it may, and again, it, 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 this sounds like a political diatribe, it's because it is. I consider him uh, only slightly less dangerous than Hitler because he's lazier and less intelligent than Hitler. But the empirical point is that we did the same thing. <laughs> Yes, but let's close since the battery has not collapsed with our, uh, we can never forget, uh, our for former and future president. Close this up, Donald Trump, with this memory. The people, my people are so smart. And you know what else they say about my people? The polls. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. My people are so smart. My people are so smart, I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I would not lose any voters, he says to a chorus of laughter. And uh, we wonder why we are so fucked. And uh, but uh, anyway, 
I've got to wrap this up because I got to go over to Collapse Chronicles and put together my Good News Monday rant. <sighs> my guys. <laughs>